Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. So let's take a look again on the Forex market. So day by day we have the very small changes on the overall price performance. Sometimes we've got uh, intraday pullbacks as it was two days ago when we said consider possible uh, using stop sell order on the breakout or watching for patterns if it will be formed. So nothing has happened. And today again you can see this minor um, upside action that we have inside of the session. But uh, since the overall driving factor remains the same uh, we probably uh, could get some more or less meaningful, meaningful reaction only when the market will touch the 1 or 7 area. Somewhere from this level something at least due to the technical strength theoretically is possible to happen. Here on intraday charts I do not see something to consider if you take a look at the fold time frame chart. Market stands inside, inside the same range and channel and uh, the strategies that we have discussed yes they try and take position on the pullback near the up water hiding the stop above the previous top inside this channel this is the only strategies that uh, currently we have to follow the market so any upside reversal swing will cancel this tendency and it means that downside trading is over so it, it is relatively risky because you do not have any patience you have only fallen um, downside channel and supposedly fundamental factors of the soft landing or no landing as many uh, investors um, start talking right now and this background theoretically could let market to reach the specified uh, target and support level because here in between we do not have anything so here is all the relatively free space the same we have on other markets by taking a look at the dollar index you could see that here is also my reaction starts and uh, it's a bit closer to the resistance so it almost has reached 104.60 cop target stands 105 so from that standpoint they have the similar to the euro currency uh, combination of the target and the uh, fib level on the 10-year bonds we also see minor reaction starting so uh, a few days ago it also was starting really nice but late it has been reversed back and that's things that we could keep an eye on but currently right at this point it's too few time has been passed and actually nothing nothing to do so here as you can see the same on the hourly chart i also see nothing yet a bit better picture stands on the great british pound it stands more stubborn first of all around support and still coiling around it uh, compares to the euro currency and upper bounds here is a bit more uh, reliable it's faster uh, here as you can see this bounce and from that standpoint of view on the hourly chart this is for our time from chart but on the hourly chart the british pound is also some, some, something to watch for and you can see upper action stands relatively strong this was a butterfly to the downside precisely 1618 and once again we can return back to idea of the hand and shoulders Probably it will take today and tomorrow session to be formed, but at least we will get the answer whether we will get something or not. Our market will just will keep going with these lower lows and lower highs. And this is unfortunately all that we have currently on the euro currency and forex in general. So um, once again, it's two strategies that we already talked about. First is you trying you could try on intraday charts to follow the market standing in channel on the fall time frame chart. With the strategies that we have just discussed um, scout traders who would like to buy your currency have to wait for a clear bullish reversal pattern supposedly it might happen around 107 107 40 area those who would like to sell uh, i mean on the high time frames on the daily for example should wait when the market will show the pullback because market right now is overextended down and uh, since until the elections not many time um, it's a couple of weeks any significant bounce and if you will get it on the daily chart on the weekly chart it will uh, overcome any um, 
other advantages you could, could get, for instance, if you're trying to do this somewhere closer to the market. Because pullback after the elections might be significant, investors could start closing the hedging insurance positions on the dollar that they have bought to protect itself from some risks. So uh, that's particularly what we will be watching for. So that's been said on the daily chart, chart I wouldn't be in a hurry to take the short position. So the pullback still happen, uh, could happen, and if it, will, if it will be, it will be great background to follow. That into what's what we have, let's keep watching. On the gold market today's situation uh, is a bit more interesting, so you will see it in the video. Uh, there we will get uh, the bounce that we have discussed once market has reached 2760 target. So let's see.